What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host, as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature, how y'all doing? Before we get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen, and that's thank you guys for the likes, comments, shares, most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan, somebody who just started rocking with the channel today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving what I got going on my YouTube and you want to see more of me, easy money, man. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Temp Check. Head on over to Instagram, Mr. Check the Temperature. But before we get started with today's content, make sure you pull up with me tomorrow night. I know I do a temperature check Tuesdays, but we're doing a temperature check Thursdays, special edition. It's me and your boy, Jada Nightwing. We're going to be breaking down his battle versus Av, the results of Gnome 11. And it looks like he got Danny Myers on Survivor Series. So we're going to get into all that. But we're not here for the men today. We're giving it up for the ladies. Yes, heir to the throne, Devo. Vague, Babs, Queen of the Ring, URL, shout out to Caffeine, June 26th is going down. And I love this card. Overall, you got 40 Bars versus KCJ, Official versus Gaddis, Miss Hustle versus Coffee, Shuni versus Vixen, E Heart versus First Lady Flames. My God, what a card. This is what I want to say. This card. Quite simply put, I believe on paper is one of the best cards I have seen this year, male or female. It's one of the best Queen of the Ring cards on paper of all time. Yes, I said it. Great job, Debo. Debo, the people was asking for the ladies and you delivered the ladies. We appreciate that, my brother. But honestly, man, when you're looking at this card, man, it gives you that, that gnome type feel for the women. It gives you that summer madness type of feel for the women. Now, obviously, there's one battle that we want to see on this card that just couldn't make it. Debo, he tried. Debo tried his hardest to get these two in the ring together, but it ain't going to happen. Jazz and Misfit, I don't know if we're ever going to see that battle, but he tried. But without that, you still got one of the best cards of the year. Top to bottom. You got everything you're looking for in battle rap on this card. You need a storyline? Go hustle and coffee. Check out their Twitter if you haven't. You want bars? You want pins? e Heart First Lady Flames. You want punches? KCJ. You want scheming? Penmanship? You want to see everything? 40 bars. You want to see back-to-backs, official and Gaddis. Everything you want, you want angles, they got that. Everything you want in a battle event, you got on this card. So why are we not talking about this card, people? Why are we not talking about this card? But we about to. Let's get into some predictions, man. It's prediction time. So the first battle on this card, e Heart versus First Lady Flames. That's how you coming out the gate, Debo. Jesus. Well, let's not, let's not make no mistakes about it. e Heart is one of the best pins ever to grace Queen of the Ring. Now, I know her last couple battles, when you look at it, who, you also got to look at the competition. Her battling Kayshawn, come on, man. She took Kayshawn when he was at arguably the hottest and the highest level he had been at in battle rap. But now she's battling on Queen of the Ring and First Lady Flames. First Lady Flames, she carry a purse, but she said it might be a pistol in there. She a little bit different. She aggressive, a ri Richmond's own. Very unapologetic for who she is and what she represents. She's going to give you that street, that gutter talk. She's going to be able to bark with e Heart. I like this battle. The only thing I'll say I think e Heart Delivery versus First Lady Flames might be a little bit slower. I think First Lady Flames is going to be able to get off her punches a little bit quicker. Um, and she's known, I think her performance is going to be a little bit, she has a little bit more energy than e Heart. e Heart kind of gives you that relaxed delivery, while First Lady Flames is going to bark on you. First Lady Flames don't care who you are. She do not care about your reputation. So if you're asking me, I'm going with the upset. I'm going with the upset. New era in the building. Give me First Lady Flames 2-1 over E-Heart. 
But I got a very, very close battle. Very, very close battle. But give me first Lady Flames over E-Hard. Now as we make our way back up this list, Shuni versus Vixen. Shuni, it's been a while since we've seen you on the Queen of, Queen of the Ring. It's been a minute. But going up against current Woman of the Year and Vixen the Assassin, who's been sitting out since Loso. Vixen, we know you want to spin the block for this Woman of the Year. This is going to be a very, very much a big statement battle for you. I honestly think it is one of the more lopsided battles on this card, personally. You are a heavy favorite. A heavy, heavy favorite in this battle, Vixen. But this is what I'll say. Shuni is a vet. We're not about to act like Shuni ain't who she is. She is a vet. She's been here. She's done that. There's a reason why her name rings bells on this card. But first, Bloody Flames, if you want to win one minute a year, and I think you do, looking up at the card right now, I hope you see your competition because you definitely got competition with KCJ. You definitely got competition with Coffee. You definitely got competition for with Miss Hustle for Woman of the Year. So it's time for you to get in the race. It's time for you to put your bootstraps on, lace your boots up, put the blue suit on, put the X-Man suit on. It's time to get busy, Vixen. It is time to get Vixen. Busy Vixen. So I'm going with Vixen 2 1 clear. 2 1 clear. Now, Vixen, with you being such a heavy favorite, that means you have to leave no doubt. Leave no doubt with this battle. Because I don't think you can afford to. Because as I look upon this card and knowing what some of these women have done this year, it's different. It's different. And I think you're going to need every bit of the skill set that you have in order to beat Shuni. But again, I got you beating shooting 2-1 clear. But moving right along, man, let's get into the more entertaining battle of the night as far as promotion. They going back and forth on Twitter. And I mean, they really airing the dirty laundry out. And that's the crazy part about it is they're airing this laundry out and they still ain't gave us the bars for the battle. So think about it. If they're giving away this much material, this much material, what are they going to actually say in the battle? My Lord. Miss Hustle versus Coffee Brown. Let me drink some water to that. And this is what I say about this battle. Coffee, Hustle, Hustle. I know you saying this ain't no mirror match. I know you saying you don't think this is a mirror match. But that ain't the how I see it. I see it as a mirror match. You know why? Because y'all both aggressive. And I love aggressive. I, I love the aggressive bars. I love the, the gutter talk that y'all gonna come with. Y'all are very much two alpha women. And this battle is about to be a bloodbath. It's about to be a war. Bar for bar, this is my on paper. This is my battle of the night. Miss Hustle versus Coffee Brown. Miss Hustle is URL queen. She is the queen of the URL, but this is queen of the ring. Coffee Brown is definitely someone who's performed mainly on the URL, but she's performing now on queen of the ring. This is her second. I want to say this is her second battle on queen of the ring because she had Miss Miami first. We know she didn't get through all three of her rounds, but I had her up 2-0. I'll say that. Had her up 2-0 on Miss Miami before for it hit the fan. But Coffee, somebody formerly of EFB, representing the Dino, San Bernardino, California, against New York, is different. Now, what I will say is Miss Hustle, with her physical stature, is going to look a certain type of way. But Coffee ain't going to back down. Y'all know that. She will shoot the out of you. Her words, not mine. I love this battle. Coffee has made her name this year. She is, she's doing stuff that we really don't see, man. Her being able to battle a T-top like that with all the pressure she had just left EFB on her own. She got the, uh, the women on the West Coast. She got that little back and forth she's dealing with with RX and everybody else. Bro, this battle has so much replay back. 
replay value. I am so excited for this battle. If you're not excited for this battle, you're not excited for women's battle rap. And I don't understand how you're not excited for women's battle rap. So if you're asking me, this is going to be a completely preference battle. It's really going to come down to preference. I think Miss Hustle, knowing that she's trying to regain her name in this hierarchy when it when it comes to being the face of battle rap, because th let's not make no mistake, she very much was the face of battle rap at one point in time. But she stepped away from that spotlight, and now she's trying to reclaim her spot. But Coffee Brown, she got a strong hold. She she has a strong campaign for champion of the year. But Miss Hustle too, don't act, let's not act like Miss Hustle did not retire Aver. Let's not act like that didn't happen. This is gonna be a great battle, bruh. I hope y'all are excited for this battle as much as I am. But I definitely had this battle being a preference. I'm going to edge. I'm going to edge coffee in this. Slight. When I say slight, I mean with the slightest of edges. But I'm going to go coffee in this. Next battle up. Official against Young Gaddis. Young Gaddis, I see you, ma. I see you, queen. I see you working. Official. You didn't have your ups. You didn't have your downs. You didn't have your ups. You didn't have your downs. You was up versus Tay Rock. Then you got Cortez in the first round. Now, you said when, before you even battled Cortez, you really didn't have a lot of motivation to, to battle him. But this ain't it. You you and, and Gaddis been going back and forth for a couple years now. It's another one of them grudge matches. Officials... Talent level that she battles, though, is different than 98% of the women that battle. She battles dudes and not just low tier. She's battling the Arsenal. She's battling Tay Rock. She's battling a Cortez. She's getting top tiers. She's very much getting top tiers. Now, Gaddis, you know what I'm saying? I seen what you did, Lady Caution. You know what I'm saying? I seen what you did with RX. But no disrespect to either one of them. Official not neither one of them. And again, like I said, her strength of schedule definitely plays a part in this. It definitely plays a part in officials' ability to punch. When it comes to the showmanship, when it comes to showing levels in battle rap, she's able to do that based upon the fact of who she battles. Crazy strength of schedule. So if you're asking me, I got to go... I got to go official 2-1. Gaddis, you got to show me you can do what you've done on these other platforms. You got to bring that talent over here. And I need to see it consistently. You just now get in your feet wet. So I'm expecting a very good battle, but I'm going to go with official 2-1. Shout out to both of them. The main event. The main event. 40 bars versus the face A women's battle rap. That's what Smack said. Smack dubbed her the face. And KCJ coming in second in Woman of the Year. What you've done so far in 2021. It's hard to make that argument, man. You've been in our faces. You've been active. You've been outside. But there's a woman that you're battling that's been sitting up on her perch. Just observing. Just watching. Just just checking the temperature in women's battle rap. And when you were called the face, oh, she had a problem with that. She had a very big problem with that. 40 bars has a problem with you. Now, KCJ, you punch. You punch very well. Your scheming is getting better. But the pin of 40 bars is different, bro. And she don't... You got to understand, when she's battling the Bardashian, yes. Is she, did she lose the Jazz? Did she lose to the official? Absolutely. But I'm going to be honest, all due respect, KCJ, you ain't them. You ain't official. You ain't Jazz. And I personally think that 40 Bars is about to get some get back on you. This little Bardashian curse that y'all think that y'all got over her, I think that ends on the 26th. 40 Bars doesn't have back-to-back -back bad battles. She don't do back-to-back -back bad battles. She had a bad battle against Official. We ain't seen her since then. 
She doesn't do bad back to back bad battles. And I just think that 40 Bar's skill set is just better than KCJ's. I'm gonna be honest. I think her writing ability, her penmanship, her ability to scheme, her ability to angle is just better. So she comes with three rounds, and that's the big factor with Casey. I mean, with 40 bars. The big if factor. Will she come with three rounds if she doesn't choke? And I have, right now, I'm going with that fact that I don't think she's going to choke. I think she's going to be very prepared. I think she's been sitting on this battle because I don't think she liked the narrative that's being put out there about Casey J and being a face. A women's battle rap. So if you're asking me, I got 40 bars 2-1 in this battle. But it's going to be a very good battle, man. So just a quick recap. I got First Lady Flames, Vixen, Coffee, Official, and 40 bars winning their battles. But Heir to the Throne, oh, this is a fire card. This is a Summer Madness type of card. This is a known type of card. This is one of the best cards ever put together from Queen of the Ring. Shout out Debo. Shout out Bags. Shout out Bay. The whole staff. It's gonna be a good one, man. And I and hey, I'm gonna be breaking these this, these battles down with my homegirl Phoenix Fire. So shout out to her. Shout out to her channel. If you don't follow her, make sure you subscribe to her channel because her stuff is fire too. But make sure that y'all tap in with me tomorrow night. It's me, it's Jay the Nightwing, man. Temperature check Thursdays. We doing a bar for bar breakdown between him and Av. We're gonna discuss the rest of the gnome. And he got Danny Myers coming off of what Danny Myers just did on Gnome. Jay the Nightwing. You are on an alert, sir. You are on high alert right now. And I got the temperature check. T-shirts about to drop. So make sure that you tapped in with that. We got a lot of stuff working. Plus, I got A Ward coming next Tuesday. For temperature check Tuesday. So we working, man. We getting busy. But this is temperature check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the temperature. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And like always, we just getting started.